I know it's going to be one of the trig identities that involves squares because look at all the squares. It's 16 and, a, and an x squared. So let's run with that. Let's see. Um, does your lecturer use theta? I apologize. I can only use use when doing substitution. I can use theta, but my thetas look stupid. So. They mainly just look like O's, which look like zeros, which doesn't help. Uh, so this is the fundamental trig identity. I can remember this. Um, and what I need to do is try and turn it into a trig identity that matches what I've got there. So what I have there is I have a constant minus a variable squared. Constant and variable. And currently it's variable and variable equals constant. But if I rearrange it just a little bit, then it's looking the right shape. Constant, constant, minus, variable, variable. It's looking right. It's matching much more closely to what I have there. Only problem is that the constant is a 1, and this constant is a 16. So I'm just going to times everything by 16. Like that. That's looking good. I've got 16 minus... Now uh, this is supposed to be just a single thing squared, so I'm just going to bring that 16 inside the squared. It's looking good. And so, cool. Look, if this thing in here was x, it would match exactly. So that's what I'm going to do. So let x be force on u, so that this thing is now 16 minus x squared. And it matches precisely what is in my integral. Um, and, but the thing in my integral has actually got a root, so I'm just going to do the square root of both sides. So... Like that. Suppose technically when I do a square root they're supposed to be a plus or minus. But if I'm really careful about u, I can just arrange it so that the cos u is positive anyway. Um, where's cos positive? Cos is positive over here, isn't it? Beautiful. If cos is over this, uh, if the u is over this side in, the, in those quadrants, then cos u is going to be positive, which means that when we do the square root, we don't have to worry about the plus or minus. Sweet. Also conveniently covers all the possible values of sine u. I reckon sig substitution really is the go. So let's see. Um, That's my fundamental trig identity. So I need, I need variable squared minus number. I suppose I could get that, right? I could do like, I could put the minus one over here and the cos over there. But then that would be like sine squared minus 1 equals minus cos squared, and I'm never going to be able to do the square root of a negative. Okay, so I'm going to have to do something else. Um, oh, what's that other trig identity? If I divide it by cos squared, I'll get this. So cos squared divided by cos squared is 1. Sine squared divided by cos squared is tan squared because cos over so, sine over cos is tan, and one divided by cos squared is sec squared because sec is one over cos. That's the other trig identity. <coughs> and 
And you'll notice that this one has a, de a decent thing. It has number plus variable squared. So if there was a plus here, I'd be good. It's a minus though. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to rewrite it like this. So I do have to have a little bit of knowledge. I do have to know that there is a trig identity that does have a plus and it's got a tan and, and a sec in it. So I know, I'm, I know that I'm, I do have to know in advance that sometimes I have to divide by cos squared to get what I want. But for me that's somehow easier than remembering any of the other things. So there we go. That's looking the right shape. This is looking right except what have we got? Something squared minus number, something squared minus number, but the number is supposed to be 5. Okay, so we're doing well, but this has to be written as something squared. It's looking pretty good now. If this was x, it would match. x squared minus 5, x squared minus 5. Brilliant. Okay. So let's just deal with that thing there. So that means that now, so 5 tan u squared is now x squared minus 5. And so when I do the root, I'm going to get root 5. Okay, so we're going to need to arrange for tan to be positive. Tan's positive there. So I'm going to need to say that for u is in, man, how do I do that? Minus pi on 2 to minus pi. Oh, that's the wrong order. And from 0 to pi on 2. Excellent. Oh, crap, it's not going to work at the ends. They have to be round brackets. Right. Bang! Okay, that's going to make my tan positive, and it does conveniently cover all the uh, values of sec, because sec is cos, basically, so which cos is positive up here and negative down here, so together we've covered all of them. Brilliant. 